Hey guys, this is video number eight. We're going to talk about walls, uh, specifically since we have a projectile weapon for the main actor and projectile weapon for the enemy. We're going to see how walls affect projectile weapons, uh, depending on how you set them up with uh, a terrain tag or a, a wall tag. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First thing we're going to do is uh, go to map properties. Switch this to Castle Dungeon. Excellent. Excellent. So, we'll start out and see how projectiles work when a wall tag is not set. And then I'll show you how to set the wall tag. Ah, so you're shooting right through the wall. Go to uh, hotkeys. That person we had in there from before gave us arrows. And you see, I'm able to shoot right through the walls. And uh, so are they. And that's not what we want. Okay. Section 2.5.6 in the manual covers wall terrain tags. And how it affects uh, the enemy AI. Stop here. Um, you should have your configuration program open and you should open up your SBC file. And you're going to go to the enemy behavior tab and you're going to go to wall terrain tags and we're going to use one as being a wall. Click on uh, Generate Configuration Script, Generate, copy to clipboard, go to your uh, script editor and go to the first page of the script, select all, paste, apply, OK. And uh, next we need to go to this specific tile set and make sure that uh, the auto tile and these walls are set to a one for their tag. So go to the database, uh, go to tile sets, go to castle dungeon, go to terrain tag, and uh, anything that's a wall we will want to set as a one. I think that that's the bulk of what's going to affect us for now. Just hit apply, hit OK, and uh, see what kind of change this may have brought about. We'll get our arrows from this NPC. Equip set arrows. And it doesn't look like I'm able to shoot through the wall anymore what we want. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.